Hello, everyone. I'm going to talk about the four directions briefly and then lead you in a process of that. So first of all, there are many ways to call in and honor the directions with words and symbols that are meaningful to you and in alignment with different lineage traditions. I am of European Nordic ancestry, and this honoring of the four directions is influenced by various pagan practices, folk magic, and witchery. It is my own concoction of elements, something that I use in my practice. All right, so let's practice it. You can keep your eyes open or closed. I will probably go back and forth with that. Um, you can stand up if you want to and face in each direction, or you can imagine that you are facing in each direction by setting an intention energetically. Imagine yourself sitting in the center of a circle. Call in a trusted guide, ally, spirit, and ask them to be with you as you call in the four directions. So just take a moment to do that, to call in that trusted guide, ally, or spirit. Ask them to clear the energetic space around you. Anything that you do not need in your field of energy. Ask them to place a loving boundary around you for protection, for good ritual practice. So now you can stand and face the east or imagine yourself standing and facing the east. We give thanks to the rising sun, thanking the air. We allow the wind to blow away the old ancestral patterns and blow in the new. Honor your father's father's people all the grandfathers from the present as far back as you can call out to them, the ancient ones. Take a moment to acknowledge them. Give a nod, a bow, blow a kiss, do a high five. Whatever feels most authentic for you. Ask your trusted guide, ally, spirit to place a loving boundary around them of gratitude and warmth and love and protection. And then thank the East for the bounty of breath and life. Now stand and face the South. We give thanks to the fire, allowing passion to awaken our hearts and desire. Honor your father's mother's people from the, the most recent grandmothers all the way back down the line to the ancient, ancient ancestors. Acknowledge them with a nod, a bow, blow a kiss, Say a high five and ask your trusted guides to place a loving boundary around them of gratitude and warmth and protection. Thank the South for burning away the burdens of the past that are no more. Now stand and face the West. We give thanks to the water for the flow of emotions, sometimes calm, sometimes turbulent, 
and the purification as water cleanses us of the old and prepares us for the new. Thank you for the experience of our emotions, self-reflection, and self-understanding. Honor your mother's mother's people. Give a nod, a bow, blow a kiss, high five. And ask your trusted guides to place a loving boundary around them of gratitude and warmth and protection. Thank the West for the great song of life. Honor your voice. Stand and face the North. Thank the earth for holding you in time and space to heal, for grounding and nourishing your physical, emotional, and mental body. Honor your mother's father's people, from the most recent grandfather on that line all the way back to all the ancient grandfathers. Give a nod, bow to them, blow a kiss, high five, and ask your trusted guides to place a loving boundary around them of gratitude and warmth and protection. Thank the North for giving you roots and nurturing your body with rest and recovery. Stand in the center to call on the great mystery of life and thank the stars, the moon, the sun, and all the planets and galaxies. Thank you for the transmutation of the old and rising to meet the new patterns that elevate the next generations of ancestors. Thank you for being the bridge between the physical and the spiritual. And with that, we say thank you, thank you, thank you. And so it is. And so it is.